Hey guys, John Boston. You know, I'm into cars, I'm into motorcycles. Yeah, I, I go down uh, a little over a year ago to go uh, get a car. Uh, I got myself a Chevy Camaro. And, uh, you know, I got the, it was only the six cylinder. I couldn't afford the eight, but it's the top of the line six cylinder. It's got the leather seats, heated, uh, you know, the upgraded stereo system that happens to say Boston Acoustics. John Boston, Boston Style Racing, Boston Acoustics, you know, and uh, it was all great, you know, I hopped in and, uh, you know, I, I asked the sales guy, uh, does it have a CD changer in the trunk or something? He goes, no, no, it, it doesn't have a CD player. I said, but this is the top of the line with the upgraded stereo. And he goes, no, they, they don't come with CD players anymore. You know, you, you plug, your, plug your iPod into it. Well, I don't have an iPod. Do you? If you do, good, good for you. But even if I had an iPod, what about all my CDs, this music I've collected for years? You know, am I supposed to go to uh, go buy an iPod or go to iTunes and repurchase all of this music that I already own? No, John's got a home computer, so John just pops the CDs into his uh, CD player burner reader thing and uh, makes them all into MP3s and puts them on a, a, a little USB drive which goes into your uh, center console. There's a little plug for it. It's like, wow, piece of cake, man. And then John turns on the stereo and what happens? Wow. MP3s are majorly compressed, and if you don't know what that means, that means they've taken uh, this amount of information in your music and made it into this amount of information in your music, and you lose quality. I mean, the, the highs are completely gone. There's, there's parts of the music that you just cannot even hear. It's completely gone. It is awful. Unless you're a person that just listens to the beat and you don't really care about music, you're, you're really going to be upset. You're going to be disappointed. So, you know, I've had a year subscription to uh, satellite radio, so I just listened to satellite radio for a year. When that ran out, then all of a sudden I had to get off my butt and do something. And uh, I came across this thing called EAC, Exact Audio Copy which does not compress your music, which they think is a big problem because, uh, oh, well, it's not compressed, so you're gonna need a bigger memory stick or a uh, you know, bigger capacity on your USB drive. Well, so stinking what? If it's good music, I put 33 of my CDs, 33 CDs, two stacks this high, on a little tiny stick like I just showed you there, that was only 16 gigabytes. Yeah. Costs almost nothing. So who cares it's not compressed? And now I've got 33 CDs worth of music sitting there plugged in in the center console and I just flip the switch, do, 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 get to any of them I want and the sound is just like on the CDs. It's not messed up or anything. I'm gonna put the link to EAC, Exact Audio Copy, I'm going to put the link in the description below. I'll probably put one I'll probably put one here too that you can click on. And uh, that takes you to their site. I don't know who developed it or what. They don't sell it. It's free, but they do have a uh, PayPal. A little PayPal uh, you can donate to them. You know, if you use it and it works out for you, give the guys 5 bucks or something, you know. It'd make a little bit off of each person. I'm sure eventually it'll add up, make it worth their while. But it'll definitely be worth your while. If you get yourself a car that doesn't have a CD player and you really enjoy music, you're any kind of audiophile at all, you're going to want to check this out. EAC. And I got a lot more stuff like this coming along. So uh, hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And on the subscribe button it's got a little little gear next to it for all you gear heads you know on the one below the video there's gear yeah click on the gear it brings up another box and then you check check the little box there and then you get an email whenever I put up a new video 
if you just uh, hit subscribe then it'll you know every week or two it puts a list of you'll get like 10 different whoever you're subscribed to will put a few videos here and there but yeah if you click on that little gear it'll bring up another box you can get emailed every time i put something up thanks for watching